Hey guys, Faisal here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to root your Kindle Fire HDX. Now, um, if you're not familiar with this device, um, you know it's got Amazon's operating system running on it, but that operating system runs on an Android base. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to tell because you know there's a pretty large absence of Google. Uh, on this device, but uh, regardless, it's still running Android and it can still be rooted. And luckily for us, it's really easy to do. Now, this method uh, should work just fine with both the 7 inch and the 10.9 uh, inch variants. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, with the 7 inch that I have here. Now, before we begin, let me just show you uh, so you guys know that I am not rooted. Uh, this is just a standard uh, root analyzer or root checker app, uh, it's available in the Amazon App Store. Uh, so to begin, what you're going to want to do is go to your browser, and uh, I have the links for all this stuff in the uh, full tutorial, um, but um, what you're going to do is go to a, t a website called Talroot. This is the app that we're going to use uh, to root our device, and it's by uh, the pretty famous hacker GeoHot. So uh, go to the website, and to download the app, just tap this Lambda symbol, and go ahead and uh, use the Silk browser to download it. Now once it's downloaded, uh, there is no file browser, there's no downloads app, so what you're going to need to do is go into the App Store and um, go ahead and just search for file browsers. Uh, the one that I'm going to use is called ES uh, File Explorer. I already have it. It's a pretty powerful one. It's uh, you know used by a lot of people and it works really well. So uh, once you have um, that downloaded, go ahead and open it up and you're going to go to your download folder and from there you're going to uh, tap on it's going to say TRAPK that's Talroot so go ahead and tap on that and then just install it like you would any other app it'll take just a second to install and then when it's done uh, open it up and uh, there's really just one option here uh, that we're concerned with and it's this make it rain button so tap that and let it do its thing and just like that in a few seconds we are rooted so um, now we have root. Uh, the only thing we want, uh, or the only thing left to do, is to download a root management app. And what that's going to let us do is um, make it so that when apps do uh, want root uh, permissions, that they ask you first. This way, you don't have apps just go ahead and get into your system and do who knows what. So um, for that, I've got another link in uh, the article for Super SEU. Um, go ahead and download that. Uh, directly to your Kindle or to your computer and then transfer it over back into the download folder then head back into ES File Explorer and you're going to see it right here superuser.apk tap that uh, again just install like normal and it should take just a second when you're done go ahead and hit open it's going to ask you um, or it's going to let, let you know that SU binary needs to be updated just hit continue that takes a second and then you're all set uh, a good way to uh, check that you are rooted is to go back into ES, pull out the side menu, uh, scroll down, uh, oops, and where it says root explorer, yours is going to say off. Uh, flip that to on, and you're going to see a request for super user. Grant that, and uh, you're going to see a little toast notification saying that super user has granted uh, access to ES File Explorer. So that means that not only do you have root, but you have an app that's kind of uh, that's going to alert you whenever any other app requires root permission. So that's pretty much it. Uh, really easy. You know, once you have everything downloaded, it really just takes a few seconds to do. Uh, stay with us as we show you what you can do with the root um, and a bunch of other tips and tricks for your Kindle Fire HDX. Again, uh, this is Faisal from Gadget Hacks. Make sure you uh, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.